Welcome to Curug Pelangi. Curug Pelangi, or in English translated to Rainbow Waterfall, is a waterfall tour located on the border between Lembang and Cimahi City. This natural tourist spot is located in Kertawangi Village, Cisarua District, West Bandung. Curug Cimahi Tourism is located in an area of 25.75 hectares, located in a state forest area managed by the North Bandung State Forestry Public Company. This tourist spot is quite easy to find because it's on the side of a major road. After passing the welcome monument of Kertawangi village, you only have to travel a few more meters and the destination will be on the right. When we just arrived, we were immediately greeted by many monkeys who were sunbathing. This is the first sight you will see at the entrance if you visit early in the morning. The entry fee is 20,000 rupiahs plus a parking fee of 2,000 rupiahs per motorbike. This tourist spot is the arrangement of stairs to reach the waterfall. Sometimes the visitors are covered with small tunnels that accommodate the growing plants. Before starting to descend the stairs, because it's currently in the pandemic, visitors must scan their vaccination status in the Peduli Lindungi application as well as to know the limit on the number of visitors here. The barcode is available on the spot. During our visit, the officer informed us of two spots that were not allowed to be entered because they were under repair. The spots are places to relax between the stairs. They have square-based iron that can accommodate up to 10 people with several chairs on them. There are many chilling spots, but we only managed to stop by one of them. That was when many monkeys approached us again. But be careful! The staff say they can be fierce towards visitors. Do not stare at them. On that chilling spot, we managed to take many photographs because this is where the beautiful scenery begins to become clearer. You will feel confined by the green scenery. The sounds of cicadas, warm rays of sunshine, and the clean morning air are the perfect complement to this green prison. The waterfall looked bigger as we walked through. But we couldn't linger here. Our original goal, the waterfall, hadn't been shifted. We just had to go down the stairs again and again and again. There's so much work just to walk down these numerous stairs. We imagined how tiring it would be when we had to go upstairs to go home. The lower the ground is, the more often we will find water pooling above the soil. The waterfall is close already. We walked and walked down more, and there was water seeping on the soil wall. The water is cold, but refreshing. We were getting impatient to reach our destination. The track is getting slippery. After the stairs run out, visitors have nothing but soil as a foothold. Splashing waterfall begins to hit the visitors in this area. We have to be really careful walking here. If we don't hold on to the banister, we're bound to fall. And here we are. We finally reached the spot. The waterfall is very mesmerizing. The ripples of the river below 
sounded very loud. As far as the eye can see, this green prism becomes very large, very surrounding. We can only see big trees and many other green plants on these walls of nature. Visitors play around, sunbathe, enjoy the view, and take photographs. We also stayed on a large rock to enjoy the magnificent view before us. We really wanted to do this for a very long time. Then, we were so excited to walk through the river and get closer to the waterfall. But there were a lot of big rock, so it was a hurdle to get near the waterfall without having to hurt our feet when we trod the bottom of the river. Make sure to wear clean sandals to avoid any injury. The flow of the river led us to the bridge where the river continues flowing under it. Continuing, there were also toilets and restaurants. We went to the restaurants and the smell of warm fried noodle was very delicate. As we continued walking, we met the end of this site. Not the end of the river, of course. It's still far beyond the site. At night, colorful lights will be installed in this waterfall so that it looks like a rainbow that soars down the ground. That is the origin of the naming of this rainbow waterfall that is also called Chimahi Waterfall. If you plan to visit the site at night, congratulations, you will have the opportunity to view that scenery. However, a visit in the morning is equally worthy. And our trip ends here. Many, many stairs await us to reach the entrance again and go home. Thank you for watching.